Hi, I've got a complete non sequitur for you today. This is a tent. It's a camping tent. It's the uh, Kathmandu Retreat 280. Uh, Retreat 280 module. There it is. Um, Kathmandu is an Australian uh, company. I don't think it's actually made here. But uh, anyway, it is uh, designed here, I believe. And it's um, pretty fantastic. It's a five-person camping tent as opposed to a hiking tent. You're not supposed to carry this because the tiny little bag it comes in weighs, I don't know, <laughs> really ever. You wouldn't want to take it anywhere. Anyway, um, I know this is a bit how you're doing. Haven't uh, completely put it up yet, but this was just a first attempt just to have a look at like how much space, well, A, how it went together, um, B, how we can disassemble the thing and whether or not it'll go back in the bag. I don't know, because it was really ridiculously packed. Anyway, I think it's like six meters long or something. Um, and yes, I know it's installed on an uphill stretch, so this back end here is a bit how you're doing. The whole thing's a bit how you're doing. And we haven't uh, tied down the like the outer uh, rain cover on top and things like that. Anyway, I think this is uh, really quite remarkable. Great design. It goes for about, it retails for about a thousand Aussie bucks, but we got it for half price. So absolute bargain and uh, there is a bigger version which has like an extendable module I believe on it like and it sleeps an extra two people you can actually extend the uh, module on it anyway this end bit here we do actually have so we do have uh, tent poles here so you can actually uh, set this up as like an, an awning and annex uh, kind of thing and you can do the same thing on the side as well so you can do that on that that front door there so anyway let's have a look inside there's two gigantic way this goes together i'll link in the uh, assembly video for this there's two gigantic poles that go probably eight meters long that go uh crisscross from one corner to the other so it's like a six meter long tent so you can get an idea for how long those things are but let's uh let's go inside shall we and check it out that end there is designed to sleep uh, three people like end on so it's really quite nice and this end here of course it's got uh, a zipper door on it which uh, then it, it, there's a little pocket down there in the corner so you can just start shove that in and the other end up there it also has a door it's just currently hanging down there and that sleeps uh, two people long ways um, so there's a door up that end and down and uh, there's a door on this side as well and some really nice uh, attentions to detail in here I'm actually um, thoroughly impressed by I'd love to know how they actually uh, manufacture these things because there's so many um, you know seams and sewing and everything are uh, required it's just like it's absolutely incredible. Anyway, it, it is in two parts. One is the main tent itself, and then the other is the uh, waterproof outer uh, sheet, which we've got on there. You'll notice these are my lights. I've done a video on those, but they actually, they've got uh, magnetic um, hangers there, so they can just hang your lights up in there, and it's got, oh, through a thong, and uh, this is called a solar, solar pocket. There it is, and... Uh, Presumably, that's a place where you can whack um, solar-powered stuff. So you can put your solar cell on there. It's all waterproof. Uh, we can put a battery pack uh, for the light, a USB battery pack up there for the light. And then we've got uh, ventilation up here. And these are quite, that's a quite ni nice design. They give you like a stiff little thing to keep that um, open like that. So that keeps the rain out, but uh, lets the airflow come in either side. So you've got constant airflow on these things. So... Yeah, it's really quite nice, and as I said, this door, we've got uh, little pockets here where your door can just go into, so that's pretty sweet. And, of course, this door here is just uh, hanging down at the moment, but that will uh, that can Velcro down to the bottom. But, thoroughly impressed, and we've got a ma another magnetic hanger up there for another magnetic uh, light. And what, what else we got? We've got little uh, power pockets down here. So if you've got like a big uh, battery, we've got one of like a big portable uh, battery uh, pack, a lithium ion, we've got a 400 watt hour job. I don't think I've ever done a video on that. I don't think I've done a tear down. Anyway, um, so these are uh, external power things. So you can get power cords in and out of not only the main uh, compartment of the tent, but also the individual uh, sleeping compartment. So a lot of thoughts uh, actually gone into this. 
It's really quite nice. And then you've got additional uh, ventilation on the sides as well. So that'll uh, prevent rain coming in. Yes, that outer sheet, it all needs to be uh, tied down and really taut and everything else. But uh, yeah, I like this. It's a um, really fantastic design. Uh, the odds of it going back in that bag, though, I think is zero. But we're about to disassemble uh, this thing. But yeah, six meters long. Very nice. Of course, if you uh, sold this as a uh, hiking tent, uh, for those who, <laughs> who are aware of uh, hiking tent recommendations and stuff, oh, it's, yeah, it's a four-man tent, but it barely sleeps too. Um, yeah, whereas this one is like genuine five people in comfort plus a living area. Um, sorry, yeah, I don't actually have, this is not a widescreen camera. So, but yeah, six meters long. It's very, very impressive. I like it. Yeah, that is the uh, Kathmandu. 280 retreat there is a, I think a 380 or something it's called it is uh, much longer still haven't uh, once again we've got some extra flappity doodars there and you can pull those out so you can get uh, really good airflow through these things once again at the backside as well and uh, yeah once you pull it all tight of course it'll look much much better but we can't we don't really want to do that we just wanted to test the assembly of this thing but there you go. I'm uh, really quite impressed by that. And uh, it, it does even work on the uphill slope. That is quite a slope there. But uh, yeah, once you get all the guy wires, cords, and uh, the cords are actually these uh, adjustable um, the toggle things. I'm not sure what you uh, call them, but uh, yeah. So you wrap those around the uh, tent pegs at the bottom, and then this wraps, it goes up through there, and they've got little uh, teeth in it. And then it's, you can just adjust the uh, tension. So they're tensioners, um, so to speak. So, yeah, it took us probably oh, 20 minutes to assemble this, and this was the first time, uh, first shot that we actually uh, had at it. Pretty impressive. The uh, instructions are built in. There's the instructions, the Retreat 280 module pitch-in instructions. Does it tell you where it's made? Not sure, but yeah. Anyway, I will link in the uh, assembly video for this. Oh, and all the poles are color coded, the blue, the gray, um, uh, the black and the red ones. And they're actually color coded into these are actually color coded as well. So you've got these little uh, clips that, that are color coded and the pouches that they actually go through are all color coded as well. So it's pretty hard to goof up um, in terms of the poles and uh, stuff like that. Yeah, it's about to blow over in a minute. So you really have to get uh, the external sheets all uh, pegged external rain sheet pegged down but uh yeah so there's the uh there's the configuration and as i said you can actually get an extra extension for this that so sleeps another couple of people so all the where's it made where's it made doesn't say Kathmandu, australia new zealand uk three-year warranty doesn't say oh i don't know is it made in china not sure but anyway i'm very impressed by the quality of this thing it's fantastic winner winner chicken dinner and i'm telling you uh at uh current sydney uh may real estate mania prices the estimated value of this this thing has been valued at uh half a million dollars so yeah that's uh that's sydney for you so just a tent cost you half a million bucks here but yeah i think that's fantastic anyway let me know your thoughts down below you got a bigger one bigger one than this bad boy yeah we didn't go for the biggest one we only got the five person but yeah it's it's huge six meters long something like that and uh we can get and you can get like all accessories you can get like internal furniture for it i think and all sorts of stuff like that so i am very very impressed by the build quality of this thing and if you do know like how they actually because there's just so many pieces in here to like different types of fabric all seamlessly um you know sewn together and it all looks like high quality materials high quality uh sewing and all the rest of it high quality stitching and there's just so much of it i mean this entire internal tent is one gigantic piece it is one piece so all of these panels all these panels have to be all sewn together perfectly um yeah i just i'd love to see the factory that actually assembles this, let alone the design. So if there are any uh, designers at uh, Kathmandu 
who can uh, actually clue us up on the uh, design of this thing and let us know. Oh, there's a warning down here. Here we go. Oh, no, care instructions. Do not use naked flame. Oh, yeah. Do not tumble dry. Do not store wet. Yeah, um, that'd be a real problem if you uh, had to disassemble this thing in the rain. Uh, that would be no fun at all or even assemble it in the rain. But anyway, yep. So we'll now disassemble. And we're just disassembling this now and you can see uh, this end isn't uh, pegged down at all so one end has collapsed but you can see that it's now all basically just uh, you know uh, meshy uh, fabric there you go and yeah in fact the whole thing is meshy fabric but of course that's not going to be waterproof so that's why you have a two-part outer sheath but all this is all one things stitched together including all the bottoms everything else so of course you've got the waterproof uh, bottom on it and we're just folding up the rain cover for it and there's Mrs. E. V. look and well we'll let you know if it fits back into the bag I suspect not I think we're better off just having this better off not fighting it just like have two bags maybe one for the top cover one for them the entire bottom because here's the entire bottom here's the uh that's just the rain cover folded up so that looks absolutely enormous but i always say things don't fit like we've got a gigantic like inflatable slide thing for the kids and i never say that's going to fit back in the bag but somehow i do it like i throw my entire body on it and uh try and <laughs> do it but yeah like that's got to fit into that not just that but the rest of the tent including all the pegs and the poles and everything else so yeah I don't like our chances what do you think Mrs. Evie look give it a crack give it a crack she says all right no whackers yeah these poles collapsible of course they're about uh, seven meters long and uh, yeah here's the entire bottom section and um, yeah it's, it's going I think you fold it in half or thirds maybe and then roll it up but the outer part here, which is not optimized, um, that was it, that was even rolled up inside this thing with all the pegs and poles and everything else. So that was very impressive. By the way, I was quite impressed by these tent poles here. I'll show you these. Hang on. Ah, let me get one of those apart. There you go. They've got like a little uh, clip in there which um, is like a spring clip. Not sure if you can see down in there or not. But uh, yeah, that just uh, pushes down in there and keeps tension when you push these, when you, when you actually push it into there. So it stops them uh, flapping around in the breeze, uh, literally, and coming apart. So yeah, that's a nice touch. Very impressed, but yeah, I'm quite impressed with all the uh, materials and everything else. But yeah, look, they've got... <laughs> Imagine the factory where they've got to like not only assemble these but then roll them up. I guess they'd have like huge benches. They wouldn't work on the floor. They'd have gigantic benches, and then there'd be some someone who's actually perfected rolling these things up into the bag at the production facility. Because it, yeah, it takes a lot of a lot of skill. You can't just like this is our first time. So yeah, I'll probably fold, fold it into threes. You think thirds? Yeah. Yep. And then we'll um, but yeah. I don't know, I think all this will barely fit back in the bag, let alone the rest of it. Anyway, it's amazing what you can do with com uh, just a bit of force, a bit of compression. Now, it does actually fold down surprisingly small if you uh, get all the air out of it. So, uh, uh, not bad. Looks like we might have it, well at least for this one. So that looks like the correct width to uh, go into here and we put the tent poles in the middle one final compression uh, and tent poles that weighs a lot that's where all your weight is oh, oh that's not too shabby oh, a little bit longer than anticipated Damn, that's heavy. I think we're going to do it. Oh. Ah. Yes. Yep. Yep, you betcha. 
Oh, no. What? Oh, did we forget anything? No. No. Oh, it even comes with compression straps. Look at that. Nice. There you go. That's the Catman do. 280, 10, all reassembled. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. It's not exactly a hiking uh, tent. It's a camping, car camping tent. So there you go. That's a Bobby Dazzler. I love it. Um, very top quality tent. Fantastic and super spacious. So yeah, that sucker's pretty heavy. You wouldn't want to hike that around, but that's not its job. It's a car camping tent. So, you know, you set it up for a couple of days or your week or whatever you're away for, and no worries. Beauty, we're gonna win a chicken dinner. Catch you next time.